Hey everyone. Humans have always looked for an excuse when something goes wrong and traditionally mythical creatures have often provided the perfect scapegoat. Folklore around the world provides us with a host of these small fairy-like creatures frequently trading a fine line between the malevolent and benevolent and worryingly quick to take offense. So today, let's know about some of the miniature mischief makers in folklore from around the world. Let's start the video, but before that, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Brownies are small, usually helpful spirits originating in Scotland and Northern England. They are generally male and reside in the house carrying out useful household tasks such as churning butter or polishing floors. Brownies are either clad in rags or naked and some folk tales say that if you offer clothes to a brownie they will leave your home because they now have nice new clothes. Brownies are however quick to anger and if you irritate one you may live to regret it as these once helpful household friends can turn into boggards. Boggards are brownies gone bad. They break things, throw objects and are generally terrible house guests. Knockers are small, mostly benevolent creatures said to inhabit the tin mines of Cornwall. The myth developed mostly from the strange knocking sounds miners heard while down in the mine. The mysterious noise is being attributed to the dwarf-like creatures thought to inhabit the subterranean world. Many believe the knockers were helpful alerting miners to rich seams or ore or warning them away from areas liable to collapse. But like most fairy folk, the knockers were also seen as in pranksters and were blamed every time a piece of equipment went missing or someone got lost down the mine. To appease the knockers, miners would leave food offerings on the floors of the mine and ensured they always spoke respectfully of the little creatures so as to not provoke them. Kobolds are pointy-eared goblins found in German folklore. Treat a kobold right and they will help out with chores but annoy one and they will turn to mischief toppling people over, hiding stuff and generally causing trouble. In German mythology, there are three types of kobold, the household goblin, the kobold that inhabits mines and a seafaring kobold who lives aboard ships helping out with chores or causing mischief depending on his mood. Due to their unpredictable nature, the kobolds were often seen as undesirable house guests or bad omens. Pixies are the classic miniature mischief makers of English folklore. More commonly found in the West Country, pixies are said to be very small spirits who wear natural colors such as greens and browns. Pixies love to play pranks and cause trouble and were traditionally blamed for all sorts of minor upsets such as a blown out candle, mysterious tapping or an item getting lost. Leprechauns are probably the most famous mischievous fairy folk instantly recognizable by their red hair and beards, smart emerald green suits and quick-witted Irish charm. The word leprechaun is likely derived from the old Irish word luchorpain meaning small body and is also associated with the Irish word for shoemaker. Stories of leprechauns have existed for hundreds of years and human obsession with the devious little creatures has probably been stoked by tales of their legendary pots of gold. Duendes are small elf-like creatures originally from Iberian folklore, a tradition that later migrated to Central and South America. They have no thumbs and have been known to be both good and bad, but all duendes are prone to mischief-making and will exact revenge if they feel they have been wronged. Across the Spanish-speaking world, many parents use tales of the duendes stealing naughty children to encourage their offspring to behave. 
like many goblins duende like to skulk in dark corners of bedrooms or under beds and be warned if you like to sleep with your feet outside the covers they have been known to accidentally take off a toe or two when trying to trim the unkempt toenails tokaibi are korean goblins that come in many guises They are created when a discarded household item such as a broom or a wooden spoon gains a spirit and becomes animate. Dukaibi are said to be ugly and troll-like in appearance and some have just one leg. In tricksters, they enjoy taunting humans using their powers of persuasion to convince people to carry out pointless tasks like wrestling all night long. These Korean goblins can also shapeshift and some tales tell of them transferring into a beautiful woman in order to seduce men. Like the Korean dokaebi, Japanese sukumogami are possessed household objects. Tradition has it that any tool over 100 years old may become animated with a soul and come to life. Every year on the Japanese New Year, people toss out their old tools. Unfortunately, the discarded tools are pretty bitter about being thrown away after all their hard work and so return to their homes to wreak havoc. To prevent old objects transforming into malicious sukumogami, some people take them to the temple to be burnt in the hope that they will move happily on to the afterlife. Lutins originate in French folklore and have spread with French settlers to areas such as Quebec and Cajun territory. Lutins are hobgoblins whose main role in life is to cause strife for humans. They carry out all the usual fairy tricks like making food go bad and stealing things, but their unique skill is hair-related mischief. Lutins love to create knots in their hair of horses or people and have been known to cut the hair of unsuspecting sleeping humans. Well, that's it for today. I hope you're liking Nerdy's discoveries. Can't wait for the next video to learn more and be fascinated about. See you on the next. Bye.